down in Nashville, a 16-year-old lovely lady shoots and kills a 74-year-old Chinese dude. Apparently, he was taking the trash out of his house. Sounds pretty crazy, right? Oh, no. The crazy begins with what happened after she was arrested just the other day in court. And they testified that after they got off school, they went to a bus stop to purchase marijuana. At the bus stop, they said they ran into Maisha Brown and another teenager. All four teenagers walked to an alley where they had planned to smoke marijuana. It was near Claiborne Street. The teens said that's when Brown showed them that she had a gun. Two of the teens said once they saw the gun, they took off running. And then they said they heard gunshots. Police say she inexplicably shot and killed Rushan Wang as he was taking out the trash. Since then, Maisha has remained behind bars on a $100,000 bond. We didn't just put this out there um, to people that we didn't know. That was, though, until today. Everybody that I know in here for my, for my national network have jobs. When before a judge, three different witnesses explained how over the last few months they've crowdsourced the $10,000 needed for Maisha to bond out. Maisha Brown has been ordered to wear a GPS monitoring bracelet, and she cannot leave the state of Tennessee while out on bond. I mean, this is criminal justice reform, quote unquote, in its purest fashion. Please, sir, I want some more. We cannot criminalize poverty. Her own family wouldn't put up money to get her out, yet a bunch of strangers all over the country did. $10,000, that's all it takes to get back on the street after you kill an old Chinese dude for no damn reason whatsoever, just like the black on Chinese violence and murder we see all over this country, that so many people are in denial, deceit, and delusion about just because they don't want to make the black kids like this young lady, they don't want to make them angry.